Welcome to our lecture online. And the next topic in optics here is what we call refracting surfaces. This is where the object is on one side of a boundary, light bounces off the object, goes back across the boundary, and on the other side of the boundary we have an observer. And depending upon the index of refractions of the, the mediums on both sides of the boundary, and depending upon the curvature of the boundary, uh, different things can happen. Objects will cause images to occur in different locations. So, first of all, we're going to look at some general statements here. This is the equation that we're going to use to indicate where the image distance will occur. So typically, we're trying to find out where the image will occur, which is S prime, given the position of the object, the index of refraction of the two mediums, and typically, N1 is the location, is the index of refraction of the medium where the object is at, and R is the radius of curvature of the boundary between the two mediums. To find the magnification of the image, this is equal to minus, normally, if we didn't have refractive surfaces, that would be what we use for lenses and mirrors, but because the index of refractions may be different here, we have to include that right here, and it's minus N1S prime, S prime being, of course, the image distance divided by N2S as being the object distance, and notice the location of N1 and N2, which may be different from what you would expect. Typically, we also want the observer to be on the right, and then the, the object to be on the left side of the observer, and if the boundary between the two mediums bulges away from the observer, we think of that as being a positive, um, foc not focal length, but positive radius of curvature. If the, of course, the boundary is flat, then the uh, radius of curvature is infinite. And if the boundary bulges towards the observer, then we call it a negative radius of curvature. Okay, so keeping that in mind, we now look at our first example. Imagine this to be a swimming pool. It's two meters deep. There's something at the bottom of the pool. The observer is looking into the pool. Now, think of this as being this situation right here, but rotated 90 degrees, so it's located like that. So we can use the same principle as we did before. So we can say N1 over S plus N2 over S prime, and I think my pen is starting to go on me here, this may be the last problem that this pen is good for, is equal to N2 minus N1 over the radius of curvature. All right, now, typically N1 is the index of refraction where the object is at, so in this case it's inside the pool, and so the index of refraction is 1.33, and 2 would be the index of refraction on the other side of the boundary, which is air, so therefore it's 1, and the radius of curvature here, since the boundary is flat, the radius of curvature would be infinite. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Also, since the object is at the bottom of the pool, it is two meters away. That means the object distance is two meters. So now that we know that, let's plug in all the numbers. And one would be 1.33 divided by uh, two meters. So we can put in two there. So here, the unit of length is in meters. Plus N2, which is one divided by S prime, which is what we're looking for, is equal to N2, which would be one minus N1, which would be 1.33, divided by R, and R is infinite. And that makes the problem a little bit easier because anything divided by infinity is always going to be zero. So we can write this as 1.33 divided by two plus one over S prime is equal to zero. Okay, now moving this part over to the other side, that gives us, 1 over S prime is equal to, that now becomes a minus 1.33 divided by 2. And then, of course, taking the inverse of that equation, we can then say that S prime is equal to minus 2 over 1.33. And then with a calculator, I think I know that that's 1.5, but let's just make sure 2 divided by 1.33 is, yep, 1.5. So S prime is equal to minus 1.5. And of course, this was in meters because we gave the depth of the pool in terms of meters. So the image distance is 1.5 meters, but it's a negative 1.5 meters. What does that mean? Well, negative 1.5 meters means that it's on the same side as the object that makes that a virtual image. So it's right here, virtual image. So S prime is equal to minus 1.5 meters, which means it's on the same side as the object. What about the magnification? Well, Looking at that equation, we can say that the magnification is equal to minus N1 S prime over N2 times S. So minus N1, N1 was 1.33, so 1.33 times S prime, which was a minus 1.5. 
divided by n2, which was 1, times, let's put it like that, times s, which was 2 meters. And 1.33 times 1.5 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and min minus times the minus is plus, so this is equal to 1, which means that when you look into a pool, objects will appear to be the same size, in other words, the image of the object you're looking at will be the same size, except that they will also appear closer, like you see over here. And that's how you use the equation for refracting surfaces if the surface is flat. Now we'll do some examples where the surface is not flat, but in other words, bulging towards the observer and bulging away from the observer and see how we need to do the problem there.